Hi, uh, I'm Anil Jwalana. This is Rajesh Shetty. Um, we are a cloud-based sales communication software. We solve two problems. Number one, we enable salespeople to find the right information instantly at their fingertips. Number two, we enable the salespeople to speak with one voice and deliver consistent messages. Now let's see how Jennifer, a brand new salesperson who is selling Cisco line of products, how she leverages Vidi Parrot. So she is accessing the widget which has reusable content blocks for her prospecting email that she is intent to send out to one of her contacts. So she looks for the different documents and the content. So now she is uh, providing some information about MX series of products. She can browse through the content. And if you look at see here, she can instantly drag and drop the reusable content created by her boss and act like a professional salesperson instantly. And she can also drag and drop some images. Please note that the documents or the images pulled here is live from the original source. This way, the currency of the information is always guaranteed. So now she's adding few more information, such as case studies. And she can add a few more documents to that. Actually, she's composing the entire email much faster than I'm speaking here. <laughs> So as soon as uh, she has uh, assembled her email, all she has to do is just send it out. So, um, so now let's see how Jennifer's boss, Bob, how he wants, he, he logs into his system and shares the new line of product content with Jennifer so that she can start selling much broader uh, portfolio of products. So Bob is logging in to the system, and he goes to the, uh, the WebEx line of products that he wants Jennifer to sell. He goes and shares the content that he has created. Already, um, she's been shared. So now let's see how, when Jennifer logs back in, how she can instantly have access to the new line of products and be a professional in selling the sales software. So if you see here, um, now she goes to the shared workspace. She can pin it. Now she goes to the shared workspace to find the, uh, the widths uh, that she wants to send it out. She searches for the WebEx line of products now. Boom, she already has access to that. She can review the content if she would like. They can, she can simply drag and drop and she gets the whole content. So now, the exact same content is accessible by multiple salespeople with whom Bob has shared the information and make sure that everyone has a consistent message. And if you have noticed here, um, she is assembling different content blocks on the fly to create this document um, she's a smart salesperson, so she thinks that, you know, um, I have to assemble these multiple blocks. How about me creating a new wit instantly from this email so that I don't have to drag and drop this multiple times and assemble this email document? All she has to do is just go to the BCC, and uh, she has a unique email address that we have provided. As soon as she sends out the email, the wit is automatically created in our repository so that she can start continuously reusing it again and again and again. So what you have seen here is an on-the-fly assembly of an email document. Well, uh, our system works not only just with the email. You can assemble Word documents such as NDAs, RFPs, SOWs on the fly instantly using these reusable widths. At the same time, you can even drag and drop them into a PowerPoint presentation and on the fly create a new presentation before walking into a customer site. So essentially, when we did the market study, what we wanted to come up with a very simple, very easy to use, elegant solution where there are no plugins, there are no add-ons, and there is no upgrades. When you drag and drop our widgets into a Word document, PowerPoint presentation, a browser, an instant messaging, wherever it is, it just works. It is very disruptive and innovative in technology, and a lot of engineering has gone into this.
So with this, um, the three key, key takeaways is we enable the salespeople to find right information instantly on the fly. Number two, we enable them to speak with one voice so that they, everyone can deliver the same consistent message, whether it is inside the sales people, inside the enterprise or with the partner sales as well. And as a result, uh, they can sell more. Great. Let's hear it for Woody Parrot. <laughs> sales automation. What do you guys think? David, is this something like the sales department at Yammer has a problem with? Is everybody speaking with one voice? Um, I, I think this looks really useful. Um, and not just for sales, but also I think customer service would use this to respond to customer service inquiries. Having okay. a single, shared, you know, easy to use social database of, you know, uh, frequently used content, I think, uh, I think it's pretty killer. I think the question is, um, you know, to what extent does this exist already? You know, where, where, where do you... Where does Salesforce end and you begin? I mean, doesn't Salesforce have a lot of these templates and that sort of thing, or no? See, no. No? So. Um, Nobody has this, as far as okay. I'm aware. Yeah. We, we, I've looked for it. So it's, this is great. Thank you. Cool. No, I say we are very complimentary to Salesforce because we are not competing with any of uh, CRM systems or any of the file sharing, sharing systems because mm -hmm. we are very complimentary. We pull the content and documents from wherever it is, so nobody has to change the, any infrastructure. Mm -hmm and we are very, very complimentary and build it completely agnostic to technology. Was there another interface or was that little interface all we saw? Or is there like a full web interface to it as well? Yeah, we have a web interface. You have seen the desktop where the content okay, is shared. Right. So that is where the content is created, organized, managed, shared. Whereas the VT widget is the one where the salesperson uses uh, in their daily life. I think this is a huge problem. I mean, I, I would yeah. echo that. It's a huge problem for big companies trying to, they all, 10 different salespeople give 10 different messages and everybody gets pissed off. So this is a huge problem. Um, I think the challenge you will have is selling it. The, the, the people who can have this problem are the largest enterprises in the, in the world. Mm -hmm. Smaller companies aren't going to have this issue. Uh, and so uh, getting this product such that it can be, it'll, it's going to have to be adapted into whatever their existing right. systems are. Well, you would say have a bottom-up approach like SurveyMonkey, right, Dave? Like a, allow it to be free up to a point, you know. Yeah, but I, I'm with Rowan. I, I, think, I think it seems like it would be very useful, but... It's not useful if you've got three support people, right. like they're not, or three salespeople. Like it, it, this is useful when you have large numbers of yeah. people, and so maybe it's not the biggest companies, but you've got to get to a certain scale. And there's probably, you know, it's in the thousands of companies where this is really useful. And so, uh, yeah, how do you think about your sales effort? Is is probably is that true? Right. Do you guys agree? That it's, yes. You need to have a thousand salespeople because uh, I would use I this know. for I, two salespeople. Like yeah. if you had fifty think, or something. No, no, I said like thousands of companies. Oh, thousands like of companies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would I know, think. I would no, think, I think that you've got a couple hundred people. Yeah, for sure. I think for three people this would be great because you onboard the third person, then they need to get all the latest updates, and I don't know. I, yes. I, like, I, I mean, I, I cringe at the number of. Uh, uh, form letters I'm now going to get because yes, of the software. Sad. But besides that, I, mean, I think that it's interesting to have the form letter stuff. What would be, make it more interesting to me is actually be able to track which of those canned responses yeah. generate the highest open oh, rate or interaction testing. rate. Oh, That's wow. what I'm going to That way I could say, aha, I have these 18 templates. These three return the best uh, conversion Absolutely. Rate. That's what I like to see. That's I mean, exactly right. Yeah. And I where is it? <laughs> I Are you going to build that? Is it on the roadmap? I you think uh, we first thought that only large companies need this, and I was always thinking that we were pitching only to very large companies. Then we go and talk to small startups, 10 people, 15 people, and they would say, you know what, we have the same problem. Our own management team cannot speak with one voice. Forget about salespeople. So we need this. Then you talked about analytics, and that is the key. We didn't have the time to show it. Like a large company like Cisco, for example, what are the resellers having conversations with their end customers? We can track it real time. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Would you enable this for their resellers as well? Yes, absolutely. Yes. That's one of the key value propositions. It's so across it, the value chain. Is it cloud-based? Is it? It's on? completely cloud-based, but we do have option to host it uh, as a virtual private cloud or on-site hosting. <laughs> uh, but we definitely enable the entire collaboration all the way to the end partners as well as the end customers. David, would this be a, a great purchase for Yammer? Could you imagine this being part of Yammer? Well, pr probably not Yammer because we're more of an internal communication technology, and this is really more about helping your sales and customer service people communicate externally, but right. I think it would be a great pickup for a sales force um, especially, or it could be you know, Dynamics or something like that. Um, I think this is tremendously useful. I think any 
sales or customer service department that's got even, I'd say, a few dozen people, I could see it being very useful. And even if it is an enterprise sale, the good news is you can sell it to the VP of sales or the VP of customer service. It's a very targeted sale within the enterprise. You don't need to get necessarily enterprise IT on board. You're right. going to be selling it the same way that Salesforce sold in the early right. days. You go straight to the VP of sales. Right. Um, the, the only thing you've said that I don't like is that you have an on-premise version. You know, uh, that's the only thing I get rid of because that just massively magnifies your complexity. Yeah. And I think you'll be able to scale faster, just do a cloud product. What do you need to go after the okay. on-prem version for? Awesome. Let's yeah. hear it for Witty Parrot. Well done. Thank you. Okay.